Hey guys, it's Brett and welcome to a new video. So today, I just wanted this video to be one where I kind of sit down and ramble and talk and just talk about random topics. Hence the thumbnail and the title. If you want to see what I talk about or you just want to skip to a certain part, I'll put timestamps in the description below and you can click whatever interests you or you can just watch the whole video, up to you. So first, the main thing I want to address is the servers I do not post videos for anymore. These servers include Runex, Alora, and as of now, it's going to be RuneWild. So since RuneWild is the most recent server I've been playing, I'm going to give you guys an explanation on that first. So no, it's not because the server is bad. No, I didn't have any drama with anyone. No, nothing. There's no real big reason because of the game. The reason I am quitting RuneWild is because, as I show on screen right now, my analytics for that server are not what I want them to be. That sounds selfish, maybe, maybe like sell outy, whatever, but you know, I want to be a YouTuber, you know, I want to do this and I want to entertain people. And if you guys aren't watching those videos or clicking on them or interacting with them, why would I keep posting them? You know what I mean? I shouldn't be posting videos and working like hard on them being like, oh, I think this is a good video and I post it and it gets me one to two subscribers and gets half the views of my other videos that are just normal videos that are just for fun. So long story short, RuneWild can't do it anymore because the ratings and the community interaction on that server is just not what I'm looking for. That server is based around a competitive atmosphere. So I'm just going to speculate and say maybe that there's a lot of people with maybe an ego or something who either don't want to enter giveaways or give praise to other people such as YouTubers because that's kind of how a lot of the RS community is in the PKing aspect and like teams, clans, things like that. I'm sure if you know someone in a clan, you know that a lot of them have quite the ego. Obviously, I could be completely wrong. Maybe just... Maybe I'm just getting unlucky. Maybe maybe the people on RuneWild just don't care to watch YouTube videos. That could be just this true. I'm just making speculation. So on a final note of RuneWild, tomorrow I'll be posting my last video for at least a while. Maybe I'll pop on and, you know, show you guys some updates they did or something like that if David asks me to. But I won't be making any more just like casual videos on there as of now. I still really like the server. I still think it's one of the cleanest OSRS PvP servers there is. Obviously, that's just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. It's just my thoughts. So, now, Runex and Alora. We'll start with Runex. So, the reason I quit Runex on my Iron Man and even my main is because the game slowly started becoming just me opening bags and boxes, you know? If I wanted to record an episode, I either, one, had to show you guys me doing the dailies to get the boxes and the rewards, or two, I had to sit off camera for hours and gather these boxes and bags and things like that so I could open them on camera for you and then go find something else to do. So in both situations, let's take the first one. Let's just say I show you guys my dailies and get the boxes, whatever. That's repetitive ass content. You don't want to watch me catch imps. You don't want to watch me sit there and barrage lava dragons every single video. You know what I'm saying? So then let's go with the other option. Let's say I sit off camera and do all that boring stuff and then show you guys the rewards. What that ends up being to me is me spending, whether it be two to four to even six hours on that game, collecting bags and boxes. That gives me about eh, a 20 second clip where I can sit there and talk and actually open them and, you know, react and things like that. So six hours for a 20 second clip versus let's say I go PK on a server. I can go record, sometimes I get really lucky and get a really good video. There's times where I've had a video ready in 30 minutes to an hour. That's really good. To sit there and have clips for a decent entertaining PK commentary in 30 minutes to an hour, I love it. And those videos get like double, sometimes even triple the ratings. You guys genuinely watch them twice as long and it just makes no sense for me to sit here and grind for hours and hours and hours when I can do what I enjoy and what you guys also enjoy for even a better result, you know what I mean? But yeah, Runex, I still love the idea of this server. It's a great economy server if you like something with customs. If you're just bored of plain old RuneScape, give Runex a try. It's a good server. It really is. It's fun to play. It's really addicting to start grinding on and building up your bank. But yeah, as for my Iron Man, I just got bored of it because of the reasons I mentioned. As for Alora, uh, long story short, it's the same thing as Runex. It's, I'd have to spend, let's say, to go get Slayer up, to get 99 Slayer. 
the XP on there is quite slow, so I would have to grind for a long time. Let's say to go from 90 to 93, let's make an example. It would take me, let's say, an hour. I have to spend that hour just sitting there grinding, grinding, grinding. And then when I get the level, I turn on my mic and say, All right, guys, we're 93 Slayer. Like, woo. And then I go back to the grind for another couple hours. You know, it's, it's a couple seconds of footage for a very long grind, and it's just not productive. That's basically the only reason I quit Alora, honestly, and the fact that it's quite plain, it's like RuneScape, which, don't get me wrong, I liked it, you know, I, I like it to an extent. I'm fine with a plain OSRS server, especially when it's an Iron Man, because it genuinely felt rewarding to progress on a game. But I want something, you know, like, unique and, you know, fun and fresh. Like, with, with on spawn PK, I can do, like, PKing with barrel chest weapons. I can do spawnable PKing. I can do deep wild PKing. I can PK with different pets, you know, I can go on and on and on. But on Allure, it's like, all right, guys, today we're doing Slayer. Today we're cooking our food. Oh, I just bought something from the vote store. Tune in for the next one when I kill Jad. Like, you know, you guys have seen all that before. You know what I mean? Obviously, there's the aspect of I can make it entertaining if I want to. But, you know, it's just it's back to what I said. Lots of effort, little result. But yeah, I hope you guys understand why I quit those servers. It's not just for money, you know. It's not because I wasn't getting paid. Because I was getting paid the same amount as other servers at the time. It's just, if I'm not having fun, my videos won't be good. And if my videos are not good, I won't want to do it anymore. So I just, I just want to keep it real, you know. If I'm not having fun, I'm not going to try to pretend to you guys that I'm having fun. Okay. Now, we're going to get into a controversial topic. We're going to talk about giveaways and giveaway YouTubers. You see, I constantly see people trying to talk shit on me, Sprad, Diddyscape, whoever, the list goes on and on and on of giveaway YouTubers and they say, oh, they only get followers because they have giveaways. Their videos are shit. Yeah, but you know, guess what? I bet if I went to that person's video, I'll see you in the comment section entering their giveaway. So how are you going to sit there and try to talk shit? when you go and enter giveaways on people's videos. If you think someone's content is not good or you don't watch it and you don't wanna support them, don't enter their giveaway. Yes, I know you like free stuff, don't get me wrong, we all like free stuff. But you guys don't understand how much it supports a content creator when you enter a giveaway. One, you have to be subscribed, that raises their sub count. Two, you have to like and comment on the video, that creates viewer engagement and viewer engagement creates more views because it gets pushed out on YouTube more. And yeah, I'm sure you get the point. It doesn't make any sense to sit here and bash giveaway YouTubers when this community is the one promoting it so hard. On screen now, I'm going to show you guys back in the day, I did a little test of giveaway versus no giveaway. You're going to see the difference, let me tell you. I know I was quite small at the time and, you know, no one really knew my personality very well still, things like that. But it's just the concept, you know, you can blatantly see the favoritism of one over the other. And don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining very much because you guys still watch my videos. Let's say I get um, 1,000 views, okay? And let's say we get 120 comments. Let's say only 8, let's say 80 of those comments are all only giveaway entries. They have nothing else. It's just IGN blank. That probably means they didn't watch the whole video, right? But even then, when I have that many comments like that, I have an average of about 5 to 6 minutes watched on my video. Which to me, I'm fucking proud of you know i love knowing that you guys are sitting there almost watching even just half of my video that's plenty to me because when i go to a youtube video pff, i can barely make it through half you know i have to be interested in what i'm watching in order to sit there and actually listen and pay attention so the fact that even with the mass majority not watching the whole video and me still averaging a good watch time i'm fucking proud of and i really i can't thank you guys enough i'm glad i can you know bring you some entertainment so long story short, if you don't like a YouTuber, don't enter his giveaway. Like I know, yeah, like I said, you want free stuff, but you are supporting the person you don't like by entering their giveaway. Even if you go and dislike the video, you're still supporting him. I hope you understand that. One, you, like you might think they sit there inside and go, oh, if someone disliked my video, that hurts. No, let me tell you now, giveaway YouTubers do not care if you dislike their video. Because what you do is, again, you create viewer interaction. You click the video, so that means you saw it somewhere. So you click the video, and let's say you type a mean, nasty comment as well. Uh, your mother got on the scale and it said, Air 404, uh, please provide weight, not phone number. Whatever, let's say you commented something like that. You're still helping them, I hope you know that. 
even if, if you hate a YouTuber, do you know how you go against them? You don't click their video. There's a tip for you guys. And then on the opposing side of disliking giveaway YouTubers, I wanna talk to you guys about if you enjoy a certain YouTuber, let's say you enter their giveaways, something like that. If you like their content and enter their giveaways, when they post a video that doesn't have a giveaway, you guys should actually like and show support to them, whether there's a giveaway or not. If you like their content or you like the video they produced, it takes literally two seconds out of your day to click that button and you don't understand how much it helps them and one, it makes them feel good, you know, it, it'll make anyone feel good. It's progress. It's, hey, people are liking what I'm doing. I enjoy that. And then also, yeah, it just, it promotes their video more. So it does them a huge favor, whether you think that little button doesn't do much or not, it, it really does. So just show, show some people some love, guys. It's We're in a small community, you know, there's not too many of us that actually produce quality, you know, and I'm not saying that out of ego. I, I just know it, you know, it's the truth. I'm not going to bullshit. There are only a few of us around that actually produce, like, actual content. So don't be scared to just, you know, show them some love, man. It takes two seconds. And, you know, one thing that YouTubers, at least me, I also love, I, if you guys didn't notice, I put, I heart every comment that isn't just ign blank if you leave a comment about the video if you make a joke you know if you just leave some feedback literally anything like that i give it a heart because it means a lot to me when someone says something that shows me that they actually watched the video like obviously i don't want you to fucking lie to me i don't want you to you know comment oh wow i love this vid even if you didn't don't do that it's it, it doesn't make any sense but yeah thank you to those who support me and comment and actually watch the video it does mean a lot to me even if i don't respond if i heart your comment please just know that i did appreciate it so now i'm going to talk about how i do my giveaways i've had a good amount of people come up to me and say hey you don't show proof of your giveaways in your video you don't show who won you just put it in the description you could do whatever you want the thing is is i do not care if people believe me or not i am i try to keep my channel very honest very real even when servers offer to pay me a lot of money to promote their server i tell them straight up i can even show a screenshot here i say even if you offer me 500 dollars or even more i'm gonna decline it because i'm not gonna bullshit you guys the most i will do is i will promote an average server which I will try to avoid, but if I need a server for server Sunday or something, because I do want to do a new server every Sunday. If I need one and I can't find one to promote, I'll settle for an average server at the very minimum. But I will not promote something that I do not like to you guys. I hope you understand that. But anyways, back to the point, my giveaways. So how it works is obviously you comment your in-game name, you like the video, and you subscribe. All I simply do is copy the video link put it in the giveaway picker and then pick a winner now here's the kicker if if you win a giveaway okay or I, I see a giveaway winner and i click on their channel and it says this user has no content and adds zero subscribers i'm almost certainly gonna re-roll it to be honest and now some of you may be like oh what the fuck oh that's not fair dude you don't know if that was a real person or a spam account you don't know bro that's unfair you're right I don't and maybe that is unfair to you but the way i see it is i would rather give someone a reward who actually i know for a fact that either watches my content or plays the game that i'm you know doing a giveaway for if i roll a random name and it's johnny frog 789 and i go to his channel and he has nothing he has not a thing showing on his channel i don't want to give it to him you know i want to give it to someone who will actually enjoy it and you know play the game and like, even if I just see that you liked my video on your channel, or even if even if you have your liked videos hidden, if I see, you know, you actually use your channel, like, let's say I see, like, your music playlist, or I see that you've uploaded some videos, or even if you just have a couple subscribers, like, one or two, or you created your account, like, a year ago, so I know it's just not spam, that's enough. That's all I need. But if it's zero, 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 everything hidden, it's just, you know, it's not cool. I assume I'm going to get some backlash for that, but I, I truly don't care. You know, if, if you don't like it, please just go to your channel and unprivate one thing at least. Unprivate your playlist, unprivate your uploads, unprivate your liked videos. That's all you have to do, and I, I really won't care. If you have one thing shown, I'll be like, okay, this isn't just a spam account. He wins. Okay, now, on to the giveaway winners. 
when somebody wins a giveaway on my video, here's how it works. I add those accounts in game because I actually play the servers I upload. And I also tell them that I say in the description to join my discord. I am not going to sit here and chase you down and try to find you constantly to give you your reward. If you entered a giveaway and you want to know if you won, go to the next video of that server that you entered and just open the description. You don't even have to watch the video. Open the description, scroll down to where it says giveaway info and see if you won. If not, cool. Close it, watch the video, whatever you want to do. If you did win, either log into the game and see if I'm there because I will have you added. Or if I'm not online, please make it really easy for me. Go into the Discord link at the bottom of my description, join, and message me. Just say, hey man, I won the giveaway, I'm this person in game, and I wanna claim my reward. If I do not answer you, do not spam me, do not at me, just wait, please. Just send me one message, tell me who you are, tell me you won something, and I will get back to you when I am available. If I don't answer you, that means I'm asleep, recording, playing a video game, something. Just please don't spam me, it's really annoying. So this video is obviously very long. I'm looking at my audio track right now, it's just basically all red and my voice is getting tired as well. So let's talk about special videos, edits, things like that. I know I told you guys I was gonna do a 1K subscriber special, but after I hit 1K and I kept posting, like I was growing really fast and I still am. So I kind of just got excited, you know, I just, oh, 1000 subs and people are still liking my content. Let's keep pushing it out. So rather than, you know, editing and things like that, I would put extra effort into those videos that I was making. And then after, since I put in so much effort in those videos, after that, I don't want to record, you know, it, it, it's like work at the same time. You know, I, after you finish work, let's say you're a cleaner or you, um, talk on the phone all day to people, you know, let's say you, you work as a receptionist or something. When you get home from work, let's say you're a receptionist, you don't want to sit there on your phone and talk to strangers, do you? You're like, no, I did my work for the day. I'm going to sit here, relax. I'm going to play some video games, talk to my friends. And that's how I am as well. That doesn't mean I don't like the game or anything like that. At the end of the day, when I'm recording, that is my work. That is my job. But it's also, you know, it's fun for me because I like the game. And when I get off of my job, I don't want to keep doing my job. You know, I don't want to keep forcing myself to, you know, entertain people when I don't want to. But yeah, as for the editing of my special videos, I, I will try to get one out at 2K. I'm not promising, but I really, really want to. I already, I this edit I've started is really good. I'm proud of it and I do want to get it done. So I will try to put in some extra effort to get it done. I apologize if you actually care about that. Maybe a lot of you don't, but yeah, we'll see what we can do. So the last thing I want to talk about is the opinion video I made a while back. So that video has blown up. It has almost 11,000 views. It has an amazing watch time. It has great stats on the video. And you guys just really liked it. That video was not meant to be a good video. Let me tell you that right now. I literally just turned on a mic and just sat there and just talked. I was just bored. I was like, oh, maybe people will want to hear what I have to say. I did not think that many people would click it and actually watch it that far. If you guys would like to see a second one of that, I actually think I'm ready to do it. I've played quite a few servers since that video, so I think I could get another one made. The next one, I'll try to keep it a bit more, you know, like professional, I guess is the word. Because the other one, I was just kind of roasting some of the servers I didn't like. I'll still roast them because, you know, if a server's shit, I'm going to tell you it's shit. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I'm sure you understand what I mean. I also have a new mic, so the video will just be much better in general. Alright guys, this is a really long video, I know. Thank you very much if you stuck through just even some of it. I'll see you guys tomorrow with my Rune Wild finale. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.